LG 43 UR78. Check the description below for dimensions. Feet, mains lead, remote control and instruction book pack. TV from the front, side, and the back. Onto the included accessories. It's an instruction book, quick setup guide we'll get a close up of. Energy rating labels, cable tidy for the back of the TV, cable retention clip, another one, retention clip for the power cable or mains lead. Treble A batteries for the remote, self tapping screws for the feet or stand, and the supplied remote. Close up of the standard remote included with this model, power on and off at the top, text button, audio description, settings, input button, channel numbers, guide button, subtitles, mute, volume up and down, channels up and down, search button. TV shortcut button, quick access Netflix, Disney, Prime and Rakuten, home button take you to the home menu, cursor arrows up, down, left, right and enter, back button, exit button, list button, record, stop, play, pause, fast forward and rewind and the coloured buttons there for apps and media playback. Flip it over, push down and away, treble A batteries into the back. Looking at the quick setup guide, obviously tells you to study it first. Included content there as well. Hmm. It says four screws, there's only actually two for this model. Unpacking the box there, two of you to take it carefully out of the box, lay it on a large flat surface, bigger than the screen, peeling any backing off certain models. Again, different process for the 65 where the box lifts up and around it. Fitting the feet or stand to the TV. Certain the screws, cable management parts to either side or either foot to guide the cables down and around. Again, same there for that retention clip for the power lead or AC in for that cable tie there. Again, list of the inputs on the TV and batteries into the remote. Dimensions there from the 43 to 65 and what they apply to on the TV. Some info there on the visa mounts and the bolts used, M6 bolts for all models. Now, mains lead there, figure eight, straight input, UK plug. Two self-tapping screws for the feet. That's the two feet there, it says light black. Looks sort of gray, sort of mottled textured finish on them. You can see there where they insert into the TV with a through hole for the screw to go through to attach. TV is now laid on a large flat surface. I'm using the box and the polybean sheet provided. It is marked B there if it shows up. How relevant that is though, I don't really know because the feet look symmetrical and identical to me and there's no indication on them. So we can see there where the screw is going to go into. This part here, slightly rounded at the front and square at the back. So I'm guessing it goes in like so. Pop the screw through there. Yeah, same for this side. Also, we can see those nice little rubber pads on the bottom of the feet there to stop it sort of slipping around or marking the furniture. Just before I get a close up of the inputs, you can see there we've got these little cable guides that can clip in on the back of the TV there and the other side depending where we're bringing cables down one leg or both of them. Also that mains retention clip goes into there and we can just clip or clamp our mains lead into it to keep it secure. 
looking at the connections running down the side of the TV, CI card slot interface, USB 1, HDMI 1, HDMI 2 is enhanced audio return channel, aerial input, satellite input, and then moving on to those connections going into the back horizontally, optical, digital audio out, HDMI 3, so 3 HDMI's in total, another USB socket and a LAN or wired internet socket and then over to the left of the TV the mains input as well. The dimensions most critical these two feet here at the widest point 80 and a quarter centimeters or 31 and 3 eighths of an inch. Depth for those 20 centimeters just under 8 inches. Height to the bottom of the TV 6 centimeters or two and three eighths of an inch to the top of the TV 62 centimeters 24 and a quarter inches width across the top 43 inch model 96 and a half centimeters or 38 inches and looking at the TV from the back at the thickest point it's 57 millimeters or 57.1 millimeters according to the book from the bottom to the middle of that first piece amount hole, it's about 214 millimeters, and it is a 200 by 200 square piece amount. It takes M6 bolts, maybe 20 millimeters, not 15 millimeters if you get them in that size. TV is now connected to wired internet aerial and mains. Press the OK button, wheel, on your remote. OK. OK. Language, English, chat. I don't know why the voice thing's on on this, because it's not usually, but I'll continue anyway. Bosnian, check, Estonian, Fossil, next, button. Audio guidance is currently turned on to assist the visually impaired. Do you want to keep audio guidance turned on? Yes, no, no, button. No. Ah, that's better. Okay, how to set up the TV. You can do it from your mobile device if you've got the LG Thin Q app as well. It will send all your registration details to the TV and your Wi Fi details as well. But your LG account will go through. It's my wired network. It does have Wi Fi built in as well, but I prefer wired where available. Okay, in terms of use, I'm just going to select all and agree. Okay, I'll say TV only. I do actually have a Sky Q box connected as well, but I'll figure that out afterwards. Pop your postcode in for regional programming. Okay, to optimize the sound, pick stand or wall mounted, it's stand. Software automatic update, usually it's defaulted to off. I'm going to leave it on in the shop, but a lot of people at home like to manually select updates after they've read about them first. Program tuning via antenna, that's my aerial connection, digital only search. So I'll pause the video, I'll come back in five minutes when it's finished. Now on to region select, it's finished its tuning. This is where the aerial is pointing, mine's pointing Yorkshire. And I'm guessing it's just sorting the channels now, it should come up with okay, we don't want to skip that bit. Done. Okay, sign into your LG account. You actually have to do this. Last year I did for YouTube and so on on the 2022 models. Uh, any other apps you want from the App Store, you do have to sign in as well. So I'm going to skip for now.
pretty awesome intro. Ooh, install the app so I can actually get YouTube now. Wicked, without signing in, which uh, annoyed me a bit last year. You know, because not everyone wants to sign in. I know you probably would anyway, own with your TV, but you just expect basic apps like that on there anyway. I'll also put BBC iPlayer and Prime there. Oh God. And there you can sign in your Prime through your phone with a code, but not at the moment. Uh, and I don't want YouTube to turn on via Wi-Fi. Okay, I'll just say close. Okay, so I'm going to go straight to the retail demo before I do any picture settings because they will revert afterwards anyway. So to the settings at the top, there's all settings. Okay, and I forget where it is. So I'll pop it into store mode. ultra bright now just turn the camera down a touch so we're ultra bright because we're in store mode just going to go across to the media player check out the retail demo Just going to exit that, put it back to home mode. home mode and while we're on here just have a quick look none of that general turn off the eco settings because it does dim the picture down quite considerably to save a couple of watts which isn't worth it HDMI settings there which we usually want the CEC on 
So if you're using any connected devices, they can control the TV and the TV can control them. Also, your audio return channel is then active. Uh, so there we go. So energy saving. I'm going to turn it off. So screen's now brighter, auto power off, I'm also turning off so we don't get that warning when you haven't pressed the button for a while your TV is going to turn off in 60 seconds. So there we go. Might be good to leave that on if you've got children so the TV can turn itself off if they go out. Uh, picture wise for this demo I'm just going to keep on standard. Okay. And also, I forget to mention the sound, but on the sound I found, because I use an AV receiver and I want it to pass through or pass the Dolby Digital back. So we would go down to EARC support if you've got an enhanced audio return channel device. So there I would normally select pass through. So my audio will pass through from whatever I'm watching in Dolby Digital, Dolby Atmos to my AV receiver or soundbar. It's now looking at live terrestrial TV on channel 1. So if I go 1, oh, 1, same channel but in HD. And they come down quite rapidly throughout the course of this year. And do you expect that or should, in the words of the people's accept the rest? Turn the sound up so I can hear the speech. Come to the view that we've come to is that it will take a bit longer than we thought it would. So the pains hangs around for longer. In the path is still downward, but it, it's got a it, it's got a bit more in it uh, coming down. The better news on the economy is even if we're not quite at full speed, the engine of growth is starting to rev again, and that means the economy won't even fall, let alone suffer a recession, according to this forecast. But the flip side is that inflation remains more stubborn over the next year or so and that interest rate rises may still have a way to go. The Chancellor in Japan meeting fellow finance ministers Press back, so blamed the government. Now back to the standard definition. We will hit the inflation target but there's never been anything automatic about hitting it. That's why it's so important if we're going to bring certainty Press back it again. To back to HD. Finances stop prices rising that we stick to our plan to halve it. But the truth is that the UK is forecast to have the weakest growth and the highest inflation Again, in back the to standard definition. Involved. But the fact is, here in Britain, we have been uniquely exposed to the crises. Elsewhere in Stoke, the famous ceramics industry. At this factory, they've just given all staff a 10% pay rise and the prices of materials. And again, back to HD. Down slowly. They've gone up, they're beginning to come back a little bit, but I think when people get the opportunity to put their prices up... Back to standard. ...dishes under, undercutting them, and there isn't a great deal of competition out there for that type of thing, really. The economy not yet back to normal, but industry and households starting to emerge from three years of global crisis. Faisal Islam, BBC News. So the cost of living will remain high for some time. That was the war to HD. Bank of England. Dan Johnson has been talking to people in Bristol about the impact. Final is set. Quick look at the TV guide. Software has been updated in the background. So I guess that's making it a bit sluggish to load. Usually they're a lot quicker than this. I wouldn't judge it on that. So you can see there we've got that orange vertical line telling us the current time, also what's on now and later, question time, newscast, etc. And I can scroll down there, you can see I'm on BBC One HD Yorkshire there. I can go up and down. You can connect a USB hard drive, although it does only have a single tuner on the free view, so you will be recording what you're watching. Uh, but I can go up the list there, pick something, or I can go later on. Ooh. So if I wanted never too small, I can set a reminder later. Scheduled recording, like I say, if you've got a hard drive in there. Exit.
quick next gen game trailer coming up. So I say credit to Ubisoft for this one. It's Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. Credit to Ubisoft for that. Back onto the home menu before I go. Just a quick look. So we've got about LG channels free there. Live TV, what I've been to recently. LG channels. It's going across the bottom there. Those apps, Now TV, Netflix, iPlayer, ITVX, All4, My5, Prime Video, Rakuten, Sky Store, Apple TV. You can also cast or mirror your iPhones and Android devices. Disney Plus, YouTube, App Store there, so obviously sign into your LG account to download more apps, sports alerts, home hub, web browser, cheap Bluetooth keyboard and mouse to browse basic or basic web browsing, media player, whether it's a NAS drive or USB sticks, Alexa, and you can edit that list to make it your own. What's trending now from different sources, now streaming, ITVX and so on. I can go across that bar and see what's streaming from different services. So all in all, nice all round TV for about £429 at the moment in the UK. Not been out that long either. Uh, but sounds pretty good. Pitch is very good on bright stuff. You do see a bit of black, backlight bleed, but you expect to from the LCDs. So 429 quid for the 43 inch model. Pretty, pretty good. And that is all for now. Thank you.